Our past speaks of stories untold, a common heritage, the love for art and of open doors. Of the suns that rise in this beautiful country, ah, the language so sweet, and an endless horizon of tears of joy. All the moments of laughter that we shared and countless victories, a bond so strong, fueled with brotherhood. India and Bangladesh go back a long way in time. Having a shared significant history, a rich common heritage, the same sweet language. Like our cultural ties, passion for music, literature and arts, there is much that unites the two countries. With the onset of economic liberalization in South Asia, the two countries forged greater bilateral engagement and trade. They are also the largest trading partners in South Asia. The historic Ganges Water Sharing Treaty is an outcome of such a successful partnership. As the country's largest commercial enterprise, Indian Oil Corporation is ranked 168th among the world's largest corporates in the prestigious Fortune Global 500 listing for the year 2017, a first among scores of flourishing Indian enterprises. Indian Oil's vision with values encompasses the corporation's new aspirations to broaden its horizons, to expand across new vistas and to infuse new age global dynamism. Over the past years, Indian Oil has established a strong network of fuel and other business segments that serve the people with value and better services, generating employment and supporting community development initiatives. India has been building its way to collaborate with its neighbours, especially in the expansion of the hydrocarbon value chain industry. Indian Oil, India's largest corporate, has been leading the initiative. Over the past few years, Indian Oil has strengthened its presence in other neighbouring countries as well. While expanding its market base to convert the surplus avails of petroleum products into more wealth for stakeholders, Indian Oil is committed to being a good strategic partner to Sri Lanka. With Lanka IOC PLC, an Indian Oil subsidiary in Sri Lanka that operates retail petrol and diesel stations. Indian Oil Mauritius Limited IOML, is the third largest petroleum company in Mauritius and holds an overall market share of 24%. IOC Middle East FZE, which is overseeing business expansion, blending and marketing of server lubricants and marketing of petroleum products in the Middle East, Africa and CIS countries. And now, Indian Oil Corporation is entering into multiple joint venture projects with other overseas partners on broad aspects of cooperation in downstream oil and gas sector. In tandem with the Look East policy of India, Indian Oil seeks to scale up hydrocarbon cooperation in Bangladesh, including a liquefied petroleum gas LPG import terminal at Chittagong. Indian Oil has also offered to supply RLNG from the proposed LNG terminal at Dhamra to Petro Bangla through a dedicated pipeline and has signed an MOU during the visit of the Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh to India in April 2014. Indian Oil is also opening an office in Bangladesh for speeding up the Invisage projects and exploring other business opportunities. In the wake of eagerness from both sides to leverage their geographic advantages for mutual benefit, Indian Oil has signed several agreements and MOUs with Bangladesh during the year 2016-17. Both the countries are set to embark on a journey that is based on trust and mutual benefit and of course a familiar bond that binds them for centuries. We are infused with the core values of care, innovation, passion and trust, an embodiment of a collective conscience. We've always believed in a shared vision that would facilitate the corporation's endeavors and its partners to grow and achieve new heights of success year after year. And today, it is an honor to stand tall with our partners by our side it is a sentiment, an emotion, to be with the family once again. It is, in fact, a bond so strong, fueled with brotherhood. Indian oil in Bangladesh, fueled with brotherhood.
every day, millions across India go about their daily lives. Content with the assurance that Indian oil is there for them. Whether it is meals made on time in over 9 crore homes or over 15 million commercial and passenger vehicles fueling at over 25,000 fuel stations every day or over 1,800 flights taking off on the dot each day or even having a hot cup of tea at 3,500 meters above sea level. People living a comfortable modern life 365 days a year because Indian oil people are working 24 by 7 behind the scenes. Indian oil serves every nook and corner of the country to meet the aspirations of its 1.3 billion people. The company has set benchmarks that no one can match and consistently exceeds them to raise its level of service commitments. This has not only made Indian oil the largest commercial enterprise in India, but also the highest ranked Fortune Global 500 company in the country. Indian oil, energizing the heartbeat of a billion Indians. Operating 11 of India's 23 refineries and running a cross-country network of over 12,000 kilometers of crude oil, product and gas pipelines, and with its network of over 45,000 customer touch points, Indian oil empowers every Indian. Created in the spirit of a national trust for economic prosperity, Indian oil has stuck to its mandate and fueled growth in all the sectors of the economy. The Green Revolution, the Industrial Boom, the LPG Kitchen Revolution, the Construction Boom, the Auto and Aviation Boom in India all have been catalyzed and transformed by Indian oil in a big way. Indeed, Indian oil is a business entity that is truly India-inspired. Today, through innovative schemes being undertaken in mission mode, India is rapidly transforming itself into a major economy on the global stage. Indian oil is privileged to be an active participant in this transformation. It has spearheaded the hugely successful mega schemes of the government of India, like Pahal and Give It Up. Now, Indian oil is powering the Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana to make it another resounding success. Under this scheme, five raw women from below the poverty line families will be given free LPG connections across the country. These socially transformative schemes are alleviating energy poverty in the country and making energy available and affordable across the socio-economic divides and empowering the underprivileged sections of society. Indian oil is rapidly fueling prosperity in the rural areas through its over 6,700 Kisan Seva Kendra outlets that cater to both the fuel and daily requirements of the farmers. It has also started a unique smokeless village campaign by adopting villages which will be completely converted to LPG by convincing rural women folk about the advantages of LPG as a cooking fuel. With a large bouquet of energy offerings like Indian cooking gas, servo lubricants, Propel petrochemicals, Indian oil aviation, the corporation is constantly adding and reinventing itself to serve its customers better. Having emerged as the second largest player in the petrochemicals market, Indian oil is adding value to the polymer industry with high quality petrochemicals resulting in superior quality oh, product for the end consumer. Indian oil is also investing in all verticals of the natural gas value chain, thereby bridging the gap in demand and supply of natural gas and ensuring LNG, CNG and PNG for industry, transport and households. Indian Oil Aviation, the leader in its segment, serves the Indian defense sector, domestic and international flag carriers, as well as private airlines, and is getting ready for serving the aviation market that would be the fourth largest in the world. For ensuring energy security of the country, Indian Oil is making significant forays in exploration and production with a series of acquisitions in overseas blocks, the most recent being in Russia. 
In tune with global efforts at reducing the carbon footprint, Indian oil has forayed into alternative energy options such as wind, solar, biofuels and nuclear power. And now it has taken another step towards greener India with LNG as fuel for heavy duty transportation. Indian oil's state-of-the-art R&D center, one of its kind in Asia, has proven credentials in developing and commercializing lubricant, refining and pipeline transportation technologies with over 450 patents. Now it is focusing on alternative fuels, thereby getting future ready to cater to emerging needs of customers. Indian Oil, deeply committed to its social responsibilities, is partnering communities through its concerted CSR program in areas like drinking water, sanitation, health, education, skill development, environment and cultural heritage protection. With so much riding on the shoulders of one company, it would only be fair to say that the success of Indian Oil lies in its strong workforce of over 32,000 employees. Inspired by India, relentlessly serving its 1.3 billion customers. Indian Oil, the energy of India, ever ready to serve a resurgent India. A global hope to save the environment. Sustainability is associated with technical processes, eco-theory and engineering. But what it really takes is a vision with values and commitment to make it possible. Indian Oil, India's flagship downstream oil and gas company, with a legacy of fueling the nation's growth for over five decades, is proud to be committed to environment conservation and ecological balance as integral to its business. With a corporate vision to be the energy of India and to become a globally admired company, living up to our core values of care, innovation, passion and trust, we join Honorable Prime Minister Modi's mission to reduce dependence on fossil fuels by 40% by 2030 and lower emission levels. To make this possible, Indian Oil constituted a renewable energy and sustainable development group at the corporate level to execute renewable and clean energy initiatives like carbon and water footprint, biofuel plantation, waste to fuel, retail outlet solarization, rainwater harvesting, solar and wind energy, tree plantation. To reduce our carbon footprint, we strive to make all our major events and seminars carbon neutral. Indian Oil has achieved 4.5% reduction of specific water footprint till 2015-16. We believe in reduce, reuse, recycle of resources and dispose water streams in an environmentally safe manner. We are proud to have implemented nearly 500 rainwater harvesting systems across 950 hectares. We aim to increase the installed capacity of grid-connected renewable solar energy from 80 megawatt to 260 megawatt over the next five years. Usage of grid power, diesel generators and overall energy cost got reduced and over 3,64,700 solar lanterns were sold to replace kerosene lamps. 5,73,334 trees have been planted since 2012-13. We plan to replace all our existing light fixtures with LED lighting. The areas in which we invest in research to reduce the carbon footprint are yield maximization technologies, coal gasification or liquefaction technology, nanotechnology, petrochemicals and polymers, HCNG blends and hydrogen energy, biodiesel, ethanol blended petrol, gas to liquid technology. Since 2001, as signatory and member of the UN's Global Compact, we promote clean energy and sustained development in the daily lives of our customers, helping them live better. Indian Oil, bringing energy to life.
There was a flash fire at tank truck loading gantry at one of the bottling plants in which the driver of bulk TT suffered burn injury and subsequently succumbed to the said injuries. Another driver also sustained minor burn injuries during the incident. This is how sequence of events unfolded. On the date of incident in the morning shift, six numbers of bulk tankers were taken inside the plant after due physical checking of the tankers and verification of the documents by the officer assigned to look after bulk loading. The tankers were taken for loading operation. Another six numbers of tankers were also physically checked and documents were verified for arranging the next batch of loading operation. The subject bulk tank truck in which the flash fire took place was at bay number 5. The operator assigned to bulk loading section advised the driver at bay number 5 that the loading operation of the said bulk tank truck have been completed and that he has closed the manifold valve of the bulk tank truck as well as the isolation valve of the loading arm. He also instructed the driver to wait there and proceeded to bay number 2 for some other job. Around this time, the driver of the bulk tank truck at bay number 5 decoupled the loading arm in spite of the absence of the operator when the flash fire took place in which the driver was engulfed and sustained severe burn injury. The rear wheels of the bulk tank truck also caught fire during the incident. Meanwhile, the driver of another bulk tank truck rushed to extend help to the tank truck driver at Bay 5 and managed to remove his clothes that were on fire. In the process, this driver too sustained minor burn injury. The drivers were immediately rushed to the hospital. The driver at Bay 5, who sustained about 70% burn injury and sustained to death after 11 days during treatment. These are few critical observations of the incident. The loading arms deployed at the bulk tank truck loading base have quick release couplings which connects via specially made flange attachment with the bulk tank trucks. As per the design, the coupling has an interlock to prevent liquid flow out of the arm content even if the said content has not been flared off. In normal circumstances, during decoupling of loading arm, the internal plunger is supposed to go back on the polyurethane seat so as to close the flow of the LPG completely so that decoupling from the tanker flange can take place safely. The main reason of the LPG leakage of loading arm content only was the failure of the said interlock of the coupling. It appears that LPG gushed out with high velocity under the operating pressure and the same resulted in recoil of the loading arm and or the coupling. Due to this recoil of the loading arm and or the coupling, it might have collided with the adjoining structure resulting in a source of ignition creating the flash fire with the leaking LPG pool creating enough vapor to produce a combustible mixture in the open. Various causes of the incidents were As per the standard operating procedure SOP, the loading arm must be depressurized to remove the residual LPG content by cold flaring after completion of every loading operation. This step of SOP was not followed. This Coupled with the failure of the interlock of the quick-release coupling, the arm content of LPG leaked in open. The consequent recoil of the arm or coupling caused metal-to-metal -metal contact with the structure and created spark that led to flash fire. The operation was done by a driver instead of plant operator, which was a deviation of SOP. Various lessons that can be learned from this incident are The SOP must be followed. That is, 
the cold flaring of LPG from the metallic arm before decoupling of the loading arm from the tank truck. The decoupling operation shall be done by the trained manpower assigned for the job. Periodic maintenance of couplings should be undertaken. The bulk tank truck loading of LPG is a critical activity. The work needs to be supervised by capable, technically qualified, dedicated officer so that such violation of SOP does not recur. One unfortunate morning in one of the Indian oil refineries, a fatal accident occurred at the ISOM unit while doing preventive maintenance job on air fin fan of NAFTA splitter column. This is how the sequence of events took place. One of the air fin fan cooler motor of NAFTA splitter column was having the problem of motor not stopping from local stop push button switch. This problem was discussed by production department with electrical maintenance group in the morning zonal maintenance meeting. Accordingly, electrical de-energization clearance was given and the motor was de-energized from substation for carrying out maintenance job of local push-button switch by electrical maintenance group. Later, the shift in charge of ISOM unit also discussed with mechanical maintenance group and decided to carry out mechanical preventive maintenance job of the same air fin cooler fan. Clearance was issued to mechanical maintenance group to carry out the mechanical preventive maintenance job of the same air fin cooler fan. At about 12-15 hours after the completion of push button switch repair job, electrical maintenance personnel approached to electrical operation of substation for energization of the air fin cooler fan to check the functioning of stop push button. Accordingly, after receiving the written request from electrical maintenance, energization of air fin cooler fan motor was done from substation. The incident happened after energization of the motor and switching on VFD panel as well. Probably the local switch on-off panel was left in auto mode. Therefore, the fan suddenly started moving while one person of mechanical maintenance group was already carrying out preventive maintenance job at same air fin cooler fan with valid clearance from production department. The person was injured badly. He was immediately taken to the hospital for treatment. Unfortunately, he succumbed to injuries. These are the causes of this incident. Although two separate maintenance groups were working under electrical maintenance and mechanical maintenance for the same equipment, there was no coordination among the two. Electrical maintenance attended the repair job of local stop push button switch of air fin cooler fan and left the site at around 11.45 hours. Electrical maintenance informed electrical operation for energization from substation. The fan was energized from substation without checking the site where mechanical maintenance reached for carrying out preventive maintenance after electrical maintenance team had left the site. Mechanical maintenance was also probably not informed about electrical job being carried out in the same air fin cooler fan. As per the prevalent practice, trial run or testing of any equipment is done from field only. In this case, instead of starting the motor from field, it was started from substation. Electrical maintenance did not check at site whether anybody is working on fin fan before taking trial. The accident occurred as the air fin cooler fan motor was started 
while preventive maintenance job was being carried out by mechanical maintenance group. Lessons learned from this incident are While more than one agency is working on same equipment, foolproof Lotus system, lockout and tag out should be strictly followed. Present practice of entering into the cage of air fin cooler fan for doing preventive maintenance job to be stopped. Cage to be removed before starting any maintenance activity. At present, the motor can only be started if the VFD is in bypass mode through the start push button provided in VFD panel. Electrical maintenance to review the electrical circuit so that motor can be started from field only. Training should be imparted to electrical maintenance and operations group on VFD control system which is integrated with DCS in process control and implementation of work permit system as per OISD standard 105 for respective jobs inside refinery needs to be strengthened further. One evening, an exhumed empty tank of 5 kL capacity kept on IUCL open land near a village exploded and one of its end plate blew in the air. The blown end plate fell around 150 meters away from the site of the explosion on the adjacent slum area and hit two girls aged 11 and 13 years who were playing in the ground. One girl died on the spot whereas the second girl succumbed to her injury on the way to the hospital. This land was procured by IUCL for construction of residential colony. However, the residential colony was not constructed and this open land was being used for storing exhumed or dismantled old tanks of 15 and 20 kL capacity taken out from retail outlets and consumer pumps. The subject tank was brought at the open land the day before. Main observations of this incident have been that the open land is surrounded by a gate and boundary wall, which is broken at places. The exhumed tanks are stored in a haphazard manner. Round the clock security is placed at the gate, but there is no control on unauthorized entry on the backside slum dwellers in the land. The exploded tank was previously in MS service at a retail outlet. It had no manhole with three nozzles only on its body. The subject land premises is used as easing ground for answering nature's call by the slum dwellers. Signs of BD, cigarettes, beer cans, scattered playing cards with signs of burnt vegetation were found at the site. Work permit for exhuming the tank was not issued to the contractor. The exploded tank was not degassed properly, however, the appendix of work order issued to Capex contractors clearly stipulates degassing of exhumed tanks before bringing them to the subject land. Little amount of sludge was also found inside the exploded tank at the time of inspection. Let us now review the causes of the accident. The exploded tank was not apparently degassed properly and the premises was being used by the slum dwellers as an easing ground for answering nature's call. It is suspected that someone smoking and passing by must have provided the source of ignition to the hydrocarbon rich atmosphere around the said tanks and the hydrocarbon vapors trapped inside the exhumed tank got a flashback and exploded. The exhumed tank had no manhole because of which it was a technical difficulty in degassing and desludging the exhumed tank. 
not following the work permit system for exhuming of tank at retail outlet were also the contributory factors. Here are few points that we need to take care of to avoid any such accident in future. Proper degassing of exhumed tanks to be done. Work permit system for exhuming of tank from earth pit at retail outlet or consumer pump to be followed. Security to ensure prevention of unauthorized entry in IUCL land used for storing of exhumed tanks. At about 13.20 hours on 28 September 2012, an incident took place at one of the tank farm of IUCL refineries. During the incident, four contact personnel received severe burn injuries due to flash fire caused by sudden rupture of a 20-inch diameter HSD line passing nearby the tank farm area. All the injured persons were immediately shifted to hospital after initial first aid treatment at Refinery Occupational Health Center. Three of them later succumbed to their injuries. This is how the incident took place. A fire occurred at around 13-20 hours when HSD was being transferred through 20-inch diameter diesel line from F2 pump house to tank number 102. As per the eyewitness accounts, Heavy vibration coupled with hammering sound was observed prior to the rupture of the pipeline. During the pumping operation, the subject 20-inch diameter diesel line ruptured and diesel from approximately 15-inch fish mount opening spread in the nearby area. The product jet from the ruptured portion of the pipeline was observed to have engulfed up to the radius of about 50 meters. This spray of hydrocarbon liquid from the pipeline found ignition source inside tank 706 located at a distance of about 45 meters from the rupture pipeline location where hot work activities related to M&I of the tank were in progress at the time of incident. The spray of HSD fell directly upon the contract employees working inside the tank. This resulted in flash fire inside the tank wherein four contract persons received severe burn injuries. They were immediately shifted to first aid treatment at Refinery Occupational Health Center and then to City Hospital where three succumbed to their injuries on 1st and 3rd October 2012. The fire was put out at 13.30 hours after isolating the leaky line. Probable causes of accident can be The subject pipeline was recommended for replacement about a year back by inspection department of the refinery. But till date of the incident, only partial replacements could be carried out. The section where rupture had occurred was not taken up for replacement. As per the eyewitness accounts, there was heavy vibration in the line coupled with knocking sound prior to its rupture. Foundation of concrete sleeper for supporting the 20-inch diameter pipeline section near the ruptured location has developed cracks. This indicates that the rupture of pipeline has taken place because of huge pressure surge in the external corroded pipeline due to sudden start or stop operation of pump or sudden valve operation that led to failure of the corroded pipeline. Lessons that can be learned from this incident are Sever external corrosion and deep pitting on the pipeline has led to substantial thickness reduction of the pipeline section which ultimately resulted in failure. With such condition, the pipeline should not have been operated upon or should have been derated 
till the replacement was undertaken. Pipeline with such severe external corrosion should not be operated without implementing critical recommendation. The entire pipeline section should have been replaced as recommended by inspection department during the recently concluded shutdown of the refinery. India's largest supplier of fuel on land, air and sea. Indian Oil, moving you ahead. Today, you have brought your hands to your mother's mother. I have brought you to your mother. Our idea is that if you leave a cylinder, then I want to give that cylinder to that house, which is the house of the house. And which is the cause of pollution. And which is the cause of उनके बच्चों को धुएं में पलना पड़ता है और बीमारी का घर हो जाता है या वह फोन में क्या कर रहे हैं अपनी एलपीजी सब्सिडी गिर कर रहा हूँ अचानक क्यों मैंने अपनी माँ को लकड़िया चुनते हुए देखा है मेरे लिए खाना बनाते हुए धुएं में अपनी आंखें जलाते हुए देखा है मेरे गिविट अप करने से उन कई माओ को गैस कनेक्शन मिलेगा जो आज भी लकड़ी के चूल्हे पर खाना बनाती है आप भी अपनी सब्सिडी छोड़ने के लिए www.mylpg.in या www.giveitup.in पर लॉग इन करें पेट्रोलियम एवं प्राकृतिक गैस मंत्रालय द्वारा जनहित में जारी The use of high temperatures is inevitable in metal working industries for heating hard surfaces, welding and cutting of metals. The conventional practice of metal cutting using acetylene with oxygen, no doubt, creates a high flame temperature, but can also be extremely hazardous as it can explode during use, storage and handling. A safer and more economical alternative for metal cutting is the use of oxygen with liquefied petroleum gas, LPG. However, until recently, LPG could not provide the high flame temperatures required. Indian Oil, the top-ranking Indian company in the Fortune Global 500 list and the nation's flagship energy company, has developed a special grade of LPG for high flame temperature applications called Indane NanoCut. High term metal cutting gas with the cutting edge of nanotechnology. Indian NanoCut is a made in India achievement of Indian Oil's R&D center, developed through advanced research in nanotechnology, creating a proprietary additive to multiply the temperature efficiency of LPG. Indian NanoCut provides a thermal efficiency much higher than that of normal LPG or other LPG-based products. After extensive field trials and testing by various laboratories, Indian NanoCut has proven its superior performance. Toxicology studies have been conducted at globally accredited laboratories of Intertech USA and Indian NanoCut has been certified as non-toxic and safe for use. It is operator friendly and enhances the health, safety and environment at the workplace. Inde NanoCut is ideally suited for applications like metal cutting, heating, straightening, hardening, welding, soldering, brazing and coating. Inde NanoCut is safer than oxyacetylene gas, offering high flammability without any shock. It has unique qualities thanks to the cutting-edge attributes of nanotechnology. Faster and sharp cut, lower oxygen consumption, lower operating pressure, low glare flame, suit-free flame, reduced slag or wastage, 
lower torch nozzle maintenance. Economical and easily available. Easy transportation and storage. Inde Nanocut provides lower gas consumption, quicker preheat time, excellent cut surface finish, faster penetration, faster keyhole formation, faster cutting, narrow kerf width, and efficient cutting of all thicknesses of metals. Inde Nanocut is suitable for both automated CNC cutting systems and manual handheld torch equipment and has proven compatibility with all industrial gas cutting systems which use metal, rubber or plastic components. No need to add, modify or change existing equipment or torch. Today, Inde Nanocut is fast becoming the preferred choice for the ship breaking industry where massive cutting operations are required. Inde Nanocut is suitable for cutting of carbon steel, low, medium and high alloy steel plates, ingots, billets and blooms. It is also used for flame hardening and other industrial heating applications. Inde Nanocut offers substantial savings of up to 30% in metal cutting over conventional LPG based fuels. Inde Nanocut is easily available from Indian Oil's LPG bottling plants Pan India and delivered right to the customer's doorstep through intelligent logistics deployed by more than 8,000 Indane distributors nationwide. Recently, Inde Nanocut was conferred the 8th Bengaluru India Nano Innovation Award and the coveted PetroFed Award 2015 in the category Innovator of the Year Team. When metal cutting demands efficiency with safety and economy, Inde Nanocut is the ideal solution. Inde Nanocut, high term metal cutting gas with a cutting edge of nanotechnology from Indian Oil. गरम हो जाते हैं सर्वो कूल प्लस ट्रिपल एक्शन कूलेंट ये गाड़ी गरम ना होने दे और आपको भी रखे ठंडा सर्वो कूल प्लस ठंड रखो फ्रॉम इंडियन ऑयल ये साइड से थोड़े छोटे कर दे जल्दी ये वाला सर क्या ही सर ये साइड से नहीं 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 नोस पियासिंग यहाँ पे परफेक्ट हो जाएगा मैम बिल्कुल दर्द नहीं होगा पता भी नहीं चलेगा कुछ ऐसा ही करते हैं आप अपने गेयरले स्कूटर के साथ गेयरले स्कूटर में कोई भी फोर्टी ऑयल नहीं सिर्फ सर्वो स्कूटोमेटिक फोरेस्ट ही डालिए इसके फ्रिक्शन मॉडिफायर्स इंजन की परफॉर्मेंस बढ़ाए और आपकी राइड स्मूदर बनाए सर्वो स्कूटोमेटिक फोरेस्ट ही Tiba Sultan ki talwar mere paas hai. Where are you? Tumhari bagal mein. Jump now. Oh no. Sumeri. Ruko. Aage lo, aage lo. Bike aage lo. Mamu, ECG thik nahi to samjho story flop. Ye ECG kya hota hai? ECG yani engine clutch gear. Aur servo body yani ECG specialist. Ye rakhe gaadi fit aur story super hit. Servo 40 oils from Indian oil. Servo, add life. Servo, a range of world-class lubricants from Indian oil. Poor guy. 
What's his name? Pushpinder. Halle, halle, chale re bal. Take me, take me. Why? Pushpinder ko jaane do. Dime, dime. Apne Pushpinder ka lucky kharaab hai. Happy birthday, Pushpinder. Who told you? Mirana Pushpinder hai. I'm Samir. हमेशा गाड़ी पुश करते दिखोगे तो लोग ऐसे ही नाम देंगे अपना ईसीजी सही रखो ईसीजी ईसीजी यानी इंजन क्लच और गियर और सर्वो फोर्टी यानी ईसीजी स्पेशलिस्ट ये गाड़ी रखे टिप टॉप और इज्जत भी फ्रॉम इंडियन ऑयल For engine, clutch and gear protection, Servo 40 Synth with advanced synthetic chemistry. It's your license to fly Servo 40 Synth from Indian Oil. Poor guy. What's his name? Pushpinder. Halle, halle, chale re bal. Take me, take me. Why? Pushpinder ko jaane do. Dime, dime. Apne Pushpinder ka lucky kharaab hai. Who told you मेरा नाम पुष्पिंदर है? I'm Samir. हमेशा गाड़ी पुश करते दिखोगे तो लोग ऐसे ही नाम देंगे. अपना ECG सही रखो. ECG? ECG यानी engine, clutch और gear. और servo 40 यानी ECG specialist. ये गाड़ी रखे tip top और रिज़ल्ट भी. From Indian Oil. One measure of racing heartbeats. Some wind in the hair. Some sweet, sweet music. And one big smile of pure driving pleasure. And there you have it, a better car. When we created Servo Futura Synth, it was never about making a better engine oil. It was about making cars better. Servo Futura Synth, a hundred percent synthetic engine oil from Indian Oil. अब 40,000 किलोमीटर चले बिना रुके बिना थके सर्वो प्राइड एक्सएल प्लस नया हेवी ड्यूटी डीजल इंजन ऑयल जो एपीआई सीआई फोर प्लस स्पेसिफिकेशन को पूरा करे सर्वो प्राइड एक्सएल प्लस इंडियन ऑयल की पेशकश एन आइडिया व्हेन कंसीव्ड इज नथिंग बट अ थॉट इन वन्स माइंड But when it takes shape, it becomes a powerful device that has the power to transform the world. Petrochemicals. These tiny crystals, when put to use, have the power to make millions of people smile. From adhesives to paints, furniture to laminates cups to caps petrochemicals have been the reason behind convenience in every smiling household they not just spread happiness these magical crystals are like a force that make this world a better place to live in Be it in automobiles in the form of headlamps, bumper and trims. At offices in the shape of electronics, keyboards, computer cases and phones. Or in hospitals as glucose bags, test tubes and other medical equipment. The pervasive presence of petrochemicals can be felt everywhere, all around us. 
and there is a company that innovates technologies and provides the raw material for these fascinating products. The company that is one of the largest players in the petrochemicals business in the country. The company that is known as Indian Oil. Offering a full slate of petrochemical products under the brand name Propel. To transform the quality of our lives. Indian Oil offers a range of petrochemical products and intermediates in the domestic petrochemicals market. Besides exports to about 70 countries. Dedicated to excellence in providing international quality products to its customers. All grades of Propel petrochemicals are backed by the Indian Oil promise of quality and commitment. With a lab plant in Koele refinery, world-scale PX PTA complex in Panipat and a world-class naphtha cracker with downstream polymer units, Indian Oil has already implemented petrochemical projects worth 20,500 crore rupees. Further plans are on the annual for various petrochemicals projects touching a capex of 32,000 crore rupees. To achieve the same, Indian Oil is setting up a polypropylene plant and an ethylene glycol plant at its Paradeep refinery. It is driven by the vision to be a leader in providing solutions for consumers' everyday convenience. Its success doesn't lie in how vast its world is. It's in how it moves forward in making your everyday a better day.